wait a minute, you know this selling speed and smoking speed, or I don't know what you do with speed, shoot it or whatever the fuck, but you're going to say that I'm not allowed to have a glass of wine. No, oh, no, I'm not going to abide by that rule. I'm going to have a glass of wine or two or three. everyone had a fun Monday <laughs> today is Tuesday so the rest of the week will be smooth sailing I promise <coughs> all right so um, yesterday I got a hospital bed <clears throat> not a hospital bed a hospital uh tray table hmm. well what it is is it's um it's a tray that rolls and it what you do is you can roll it under your bed and then the tray part is over your bed if you've ever been to a hospital then you know what it is anyway someone had uh, put it down in the donations area so I decided that I wanted it so I brought it upstairs and well it was kind of late in the evening when i decided to when i decided to uh go down and well i was actually going down to the to the basement and i saw it sitting there so i rolled it upstairs that was interesting so i'm walking by the bus right now people standing out here. I don't want to talk too loud. We're going to go uh, up to Woodley. <clears throat> we'll go up the little hill and then uh, <coughs> come back down go back around to uh, Lassen and then go on home. Yesterday's video, uh, I realized after I took all that time editing that 
somewhere near, I guess in the middle, near the middle, more near the end, uh, the camera was facing up in the sky again. You know, I'm really disappointed in the decision I made to get this camera. And I don't know how long I've had it. I have to check with Amazon and, and everything to see when exactly I got the camera. If I actually have given myself time, you know, to get acclimated with it. Because right now I'm serious. I, uh, I totally am. Well, I'm not dissatisfied with the camera. I'm happy with some of the stuff that, well, you're driving wrong, honey. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm happy with some of the aspects of the camera, but not all of them. Like the fact that it doesn't zoom. Uh, I would prefer a camera that I could zoom in on, you know, when I'm, telling you guys about things uh it'd be nice to have a camera that would zoom in on what i'm trying to tell you guys about so sorry about that so uh i was thinking maybe maybe uh i don't know maybe if i uh look at all this guy's face let him roll by. Good morning. <laughs> okay, thank you. I have to jump on the grass. I didn't know shit. People rolling around and roller, uh, not roller coaster, girl, skateboard. So, uh, oh, shucks, I forgot. I forgot what I was talking about now. Yeah, didn't scare me, but kind of caught me off guard. Good morning. Kind of caught me off guard. So, oh, he smells good. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. It's clear. I don't get out enough. Because <laughs> that man smells so good. I'm like, oh my goodness. It smells so good. Good morning, thank you for moving over for me. As you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a pedestrian out here trying to make it. Oh, guys, am I covering you guys up? Ah, I'm sorry. All right, so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, uh, oh. Yeah, I started off too fast again today. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cover up the camera. Damn it. That really pisses me off when something like that happens. And I don't know it about it. You know what I'm saying? If it were... Well, let's just say if I could like have the camera, you know, the, the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I have a, like a, a display of the camera somewhere where I could look at it constantly. Then I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, not, uh, getting the footage that I want. So yeah, well, yeah, you know, I guess something you have to deal with. But for now, I'm really concerned with this camera. Like I said before, I totally don't want to have to try to get my money back because, well, I mean, I've been rolling with this camera for a minute and it's covering up again. See? 
Sorry guys. So I guess if I leave my jacket open, shit, I'm just gonna be cold around the neck. But at least I'll get the footage I want. So I told you all that uh, I went to the uh, uh, pulmonary function test and the results came back and uh, what the doctor said finally uh, you know got in touch with her because it was supposed to take like they said about two weeks for the results and uh, well the results came back and apparently I have moderate C O C P O D C D P O C O D P C O P D I don't know <laughs> but it's she said C O something and she didn't uh she you know she didn't write it out you know so I guess some kind of uh just a acronym for something I've heard of it C it's a C O P D or C P O D or C D O P which it's those letters <laughs> so naturally I've got to uh look that up but I really well, really what I wanted to do was kind of have a talk with her about the, the diagnosis that she gave me, but she said moderate. So I'm thinking with, with moderate, maybe it's not, you know, as bad. So... So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I don't have to get another prescription. I don't want another prescription. She gave me an inhaler, which I have been using. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I guess I have to, uh, I've got to be more um, consistent. That word seems to be coming up a lot in my conversations, huh? Okay, so I've got to be more consistent with, you know, uh, uh, taking the the medicine, the inhaler. It's albuterol. So you have to, you know, you squirt it in your mouth. Well, you, you squirt it in your mouth and you breathe in at the same time. And then you hold your breath so the medicine can you know go in and take effect and then you can breathe normal so I'm supposed to take two puffs or squirts or whatever they call them and it well they just say as needed and so <laughs> when I you know take the puffs or whatever as needed um it doesn't uh it doesn't do anything if anything, it just takes my mind off of the fact that I'm coughing. But other than that, I don't feel like it's really doing anything. So, oh, he's gonna get in his car. Lord, I was sitting there trying to figure out why the hell y'all couldn't see him. Cause I don't have zoom on this camera. But I was kind of concerned. We just walked past him and I was a little concerned that he's actually stopped and started stretching. And so I was like, what the hell? All right, we're very early out here today. It is, uh, yeah, it's not even 7.30 yet. And uh, uh, basically the people are not dropping their kids off yet. So um, that's always a, I mean, it's always nice enough. See, they're nice enough to bring their daughter at a decent hour where that poor girl can get in there and, you know, have a little breakfast or whatever. 
sit down, you know, go to her locker and do the things that she needs to do. So, you know, they get her there early enough. But these other ones, <laughs> they bring their kids. Now, I guess that's how we ended up being late to stuff. You know, we kind of followed, uh, imitated what our parents were doing. You know, it was normal to <laughs> jump up and throw your clothes on and be at the door ready to go. <laughs> I remember, um, oh, that little girl drove the car, all right. Mom taught her how to drive. Nice driving yourself to school. Anyway, uh, yeah, so my mom, she used to wake us up. I think she woke us up at 6.30. Reason why I say I think is because I never did get right up. She'd have to call a couple more times. Uh, what do I remember her saying? Something like, y'all get up or something like that. <laughs> and, um, you know, then we're supposed to get up. But she never came upstairs to make sure we woke up. In fact, you know, Mama hardly ever came upstairs. The only time she came upstairs was, was two, two specific times. One time is to get on you about something. You did something, and she needs to handle that. The other was uh, when she wanted to take a bath because our bathroom downstairs only had a shower. So she would come upstairs to take a bath. We didn't like that either. <laughs> it was like, um, it was kind of like, you know, hey, this is our territory. You can't come up here. We was who riding on the upstairs on the, you know, second floor. All right. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit because I hear my guy talking. But I can't really hear what he's saying. All right, guys. I'll do some more walking. And... Well... Today, I've got to, well, I told you I had the, um, the hospital tray that I'm going to try and incorporate because I find myself falling asleep on the sofa almost every night. And, well, it's for two reasons. One is uh, I like to fall asleep watching TV. And if I lay in my bed with the furniture that it, the way that it is now, if I lay in my bed, I actually can't see the television. You guys know I wear glasses. Well, the same thing for show, <laughs> therefore seeing. And uh, I, of course, don't sleep with my glasses on. So I wouldn't lay in bed with my glasses on to watch television. Now, when I had my furniture the way that I have it in the summertime, uh, the television is closer to where my bed is. But I only, I change the furniture around twice a year. Sometimes once a year or twice a year. Like, uh, you know, when it starts getting like summertime and, uh, uh, you know, warm outside, like, June, July, that time of year. Maybe, yeah, about June, July is, I think, when I start getting sick of the way it looks. And so I'll go ahead and move the furniture around. Sometimes it makes me feel like I just moved into a new place. So that's why I like to do that. I actually haven't found, um, I only have two different ways that I've tried my apartment. Uh, I was thinking about maybe trying a new way, put the TV away from the wall. I don't know how that would work. But anyway, so, um, oh, well, I, I was trying to tell you guys, well, uh, so I got this hospital uh, table that what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna put my laptop on it. And, well, it's not a very wide surface. So, I'm gonna put my laptop on it and see, you know, what else I can put on, like a cup, maybe a cup for a drink. I don't know. But I'm gonna try to work it out. I'm sorry I didn't have much to talk about today, you guys, but uh, uh, seriously, I am, um, I don't know, I totally, 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 totally want to get some good topics to discuss with you all. I mean, yeah. There's only so much, only so much y'all want to listen to. And like I said, you know, I totally wanted to get into my, uh, my experience in the army, or my experience says, I should say, in the army. Because I went through some shit. I was a problem child in the army. Big time. I, uh, I didn't follow directions. I didn't obey rules. Um, I was just, I was out of control. <laughs> I was out of control. I told you guys I spent most of my time in the brig because I was so undisciplined. I really had a, I really had a hard time. Well, they had a hard time because I gave them a hard time. In fact, you know, I still give them a hard time, <laughs> but not so much now as before. It doesn't bother them as much now. I guess because I'm older and they figure, uh, you know, she's set in her way. She's not going to, you know, abide by certain rules if they don't seem fair to her which, you know, a lot of them are. Like, for example, uh, you know, they say, uh, when we moved here, they were like, oh, this is a drug-free, alcohol-free building, and, you know, you're not allowed to drink, you're not allowed to, you know, smoke whatever you smoke. <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. You smoke cigarettes, they'll let you do that, and funk up the hallways with your cigarette smoke because they do allow you to smoke inside the units. So, my thing is this. Cigarette smoke is more dangerous than drinking alcohol. And, uh, uh, and I drink wine, but you know, <laughs> You're not going to tell me I can't drink wine and I'm paying you all this money every month for rent. You're not going to tell me what I can do in my place. It's unfair. It's totally unfair, especially when management is walking around calling people who frequent this building uh, the speed whore and, you know, shit like that. Like, wait a minute, you know this selling speed and smoking speed or I don't know what you do with speed shoot it or whatever the fuck but you're gonna say that I'm not allowed to have a glass of wine when you got people in here overdosing on drugs illegal drugs so oh no I'm not going to abide by that rule I'm gonna have a glass of wine or two or three <sighs> sorry guys it was a little bit of an incline Plus, you could tell it was a little, a little spiced up about you know, trying to tell us we can't drink <laughs> like we little kids or something. And it's illegal. They can't do that. Well, you know, federal government tries to get away with a lot of stuff. And this is federal property. So, we might have a little say. But not as far as I'm concerned. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm going in. Get my day started. See you in the next one. Bye.